do you hate when your frame rate absolutely sucks because you're playing on a console that was made like seven years ago? Now I get asked this question all the time, which is, why does your game look so smooth? And then there's two answers. Now one of the answers is, I'm playing on PC, but I still get asked this question when I'm playing on PS4, like, how come your PS4 is so much smoother than mine? The short answer is, it's not, it's basically the same. But get your goggles on, because we're going to do some experiments to discover why. Now first of all, the main thing is that it's just an illusion. Now I noticed this when I moved to PC, everyone else's videos look really smooth, and there's my gameplay, they just felt like really choppy, and turns out, the frame rate actually feels a lot lower when you're playing than when you're watching. And if you may be watching on your phone, this can compound it even more because you're watching on a small screen, which adds to the illusion. Fun fact, I actually analysed the FPS in this clip that you're watching, and as you can see, it drops below 15, which isn't smooth at all. So yeah, my PS4 is basically just as shit as yours. Also, FPS can suck if you're in a full lobby or if you're in the city. So if you go to the beach and there's hardly any buildings around, your frame rate's going to be pretty nice. But if loads of buildings around, like in the middle of the city, and you've got loads of people in the session, it's going to make your frame rate suck. Number three, PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, they're also more powerful. So if you have one of those consoles, you can get like almost a solid 30 FPS. Wow. But that brings on to the main issue. Both consoles, Xbox and PlayStation, no matter how powerful they'll get, they're both limited to 30 FPS. And currently, the only way to get around it is to get a PC. And there's no better first PC to get than the Aurora One X PC. Not only are you supporting me make amazing content, but also getting a sweet PC complete with RGB. Now even though this PC is more expensive than both consoles out right now, you literally get what you pay for. First of all, you can get more than 30 FPS on GTA. Now that's cool and all, but with a few tweaks, you can go even higher than that and get maybe even up to 120 FPS. Now that is pretty crazy. You can also do things like advanced video editing, use emulators to play old games. Also, if you want to try and convince your parents to buy it for you, just tell them you can do schoolwork on it and they'll definitely believe you. And you can even browse Twitter for hours on end to distract yourself from the fact how life is so short. But life is short, so why not enjoy it while playing on the Aurora One X PC? So if you want to find the PC, there'll be a link in the description, or you can go over to Google, search Aurora One X PC, and uh, this one, or you can go to Apex Gaming PCs, but when you're on the screen, you can uh, pick what you want. If you're going for GTA, I'll personally pick Ryzen 3100, 1650 Super, now if you want to record or stream, I'll go for 16 gigabytes of RAM, but uh, just playing games, 8 is fine. I might want to upgrade your storage, fit more games, but if you're just playing GTA, I'm not really recording that much. 240 is probably fine. I'd personally add a 2 terabyte hard drive though. Obviously a hard GB because it makes your game go faster. No antivirus, and then why not add a wireless card? Yeah, this is basically it. So if you purchase one of these PCs, be sure to like tag me in it or something on Twitter or Instagram. And I'm pretty excited to get this started, so yeah. Enjoy.